Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Hey, my trendies, trendsetters, and my trendy tribe. One day, I'm going to have time to sit down and update my ending credits with my new members. Shout out to y'all. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, y'all. Hopefully by this weekend, but definitely by next weekend, we are going to build a Love and Marriage Huntsville bingo card that we're going to play along with as the season goes. Shoot, probably for 2024, the whole year, right? We're going to build a bingo card and we'll all have our bingo cards. Now, we'll see how that goes on how we'll all have them, but at least we'll have a master bingo card, right? And the middle free space is going to be that Stormy Steel gets sued. <laughs> Because if nothing else, that's the guarantee. Was that's gonna be the free space, and then we're gonna have different events, and y'all gonna have to suggest some events when we're actually on the live building it. Because if you tell me now, I ain't gonna be able to go back and go get those. So you, we gotta do it in real time. But we're gonna have, uh, yeah. Um, thank you for the people letting me know you can hear me because I definitely was already talking as if for sure y'all could hear me. I can't, okay, I can't do greetings because we're going to get this done so we can uh, be ready for our watch along. Charnita, episode five. Charnita, push the button. is coming on tonight. So we will be there. Um, shout out to all of y'all. But again, today's legal documents are sponsored by the Trendies. <laughs> April said law, not again. <laughs> yes, April. Oh, snap. Okay, we starting it off with a cash app. Is that Terry T, baby? I think that's Terry T, baby. Thank you very much for the cash app. I see you, sis. Yep, because that sure was what was used to go get this. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and start by popping the trunk, and then we're going to go to the courtroom. And thank you, sound checker net. I see you, sis. Here we go. All right, we going. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. What a money resign. All right. Now, the one thing I won't do because I did not have time to redact. So we're just going to have a visual up of Stormy because um, I didn't redact. So I don't want to put the documents up in case there's personal things I didn't mean to uh, put up there. So that's the only difference right now. But I hear Kyle's over there messing with my little sis. And I, I didn't like that. <laughs> I did not like that. So let's see here. Let's get to the courtroom. All right. So let me tell you the date this was filed, first of all. Let's see. Let's go to our timeline. Because Kyle was in um, either 
shop reality TVs, probably shop reality TV stuff, and responded to Here for Hot Tea, and then he went over to respond to her under her channel or something like that. But either way, Kyle was, he put a whole dissertation under uh, a comment, and one of the things he said was that Stormy had done 600,000 TikTok sales. Um, forgive me, because I don't know if it was 600,000 units or $600,000. Okay, so this was filed by the company suing uh, Canvas Beauty Brands on March 11th, 2024. So if someone could refresh my memory when she made this new income, just let me know. But I'm just saying the lawsuits have not stopped. And I don't understand the logic of multi-million dollar companies will be sued like it's just a thing. I don't understand that logic when the lawsuits are for debt. I don't understand it when it is for debt. That's the part that trips me up. I do believe the more attention sometimes companies get, they may get sued for, and it could be frivolous, but all these really be for debt though. <laughs> and that said, we do not care. <laughs> all right. So let me start off. So March 11th, 2024. And where are we going to start with? These, they kept it pretty short and sweet. So I'm just going to let you know exactly what it says. Um, this is the, it says, my name is, I'm just gonna say her first name. My name is Jaina. I am the accounting lead for the firm slash company container and packaging supply Inc. I am an employee. I, I am an employee duly authorized to administer oaths. The sum of $18,260 and 40 cents is due and owing by Canvas Beauty Brands LLC to Container and Packaging Supply, Inc. To my knowledge, this sum remains unpaid and there are no just discount offsets, credit, or counterclaims against said demand. Lawful interest is due upon said debt at the rate of 6% accruing from April 30th, 2022. All right. And she signed this on February 20th, 2024. The... Summons was sent to the sheriff's office on, okay, March 11th, 2024, when they filed it with the court. And it says, you are hereby commanded to serve this summons and a copy of the complaint or other document in this action upon the above named defendant. So do y'all think she's going to actually, it hasn't been served to her yet. Like in a sense of they haven't done the return of service proof or that they weren't able to successfully serve it yet. They haven't done that yet. It's been we're coming up on 30 days from the time that it was sent to the sheriff's office. Do y'all think they actually going to get her on this one? Some of them, they catch her and she has to sign. Some of them, they don't catch her and then they get a default judgment and then they fight the default judgment. But yeah, um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I see anything else. They did everything on March 11th right now. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments real fast. Wisdom Tree says she just don't like paying or, or giving people their products or money back. At uh, everybody can't be lying on her, right? Shan said, but according to her social media accounts, Canvas is doing great. This doesn't sound like it. That's where I am. It just does not sound like it. How do you owe eighteen thousand dollars and you're making all these sales on TikTok. And this isn't the only thing. She's had other judgments that ended in 2024 that the case may have started in 2022, 2023, but the judgments are in 2024 when she should have been paying it with the TikTok money or the big box store money or whatever other money that nobody has. And that's why they can't come for her. And I don't understand. I don't understand. Chronicles of Kim K said, child, I cannot. Yes, Gigi. I think that instead of sending, because you're sending Kyle out with uh, half information, you definitely are, because I finally got a chance to sit still to watch Here for Hot Tea's video and watch her read all that he had typed. And I'm like, oh, Stormy's giving you half information. Not only is it weird for you to be out here as a as a white man talking about Black people supporting Black businesses, it's weird that she got you out here looking crazy two and three times over because she sent you out with half information because there, the only reason there was a focus on the chemist 
was because Stormy put the focus on a chemist. There's actually, to me, nothing, there's nothing wrong with someone that white labels private labels. There's nothing wrong to many people with people that do that. But what she did was she tried to insinuate that Melody white labeled or private labeled and wasn't actually using <clears throat> her own chemist to develop her own her own products, right? And so that's when it became like, okay, well, here's the chemist right here. We we know her name and everything. Where is your chemist since you are saying that? We would just like to see yours. And then why were you trying to shame if someone did happen to white label or private label? That's where the motivation comes from to talk about it. It's not that there's anything wrong with it. It's a pretty normal business practice. It's just, why did you make it a big deal? Because now it's just, it just stayed a big deal once it was made a big deal for her. And also most, again, as Here for High Tea pointed out, the, the reviews on TikTok that were put out there, they're, they, the really good ones were sponsored or what do they call them? If they're not sponsored, there's another word for it. I can't remember the word. They were getting a commission or something. The the ones that are easiest to find. Then the, the ones that um, were just out there that didn't have the greatest reviews or they were like actually just making a horrible like face like they were about to throw up when they smelled it. They weren't part of watching Love and Marriage Huntsville, the show. So they didn't have any of the background of any dynamic. It's not a millimeter thing. It is her products. It is what it is. Like, it just, I'm sorry. Okay. And then if she just put her head down and just did right by her business, then there wouldn't, all you got to do is show that that's not how it's going anymore. But every time it turns up, that's how it's going. Um, There were even some, we're not going to go too far into it, but that's not, that's, don't let, Kyle, she got you out here looking crazy. That's what I'm trying to say. She has you out here looking real crazy because you, you coming forth real strong with some half, half stories. Um, okay, let me see. Yes, Gigi, she had horrible reviews way before the show. She did. Paid reviewers. Okay, thank you. Paid partnership. Thank you. Uh, that might be a logistics thing. I'm not saying, look, I don't know what that girl's doing. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what she's doing in any of the warehouses that she's in now and in the past. But I, I would say that I still could understand why you need a shipping container, depending on your logistics to get it to the big box stores or to the post office or wherever you're shipping a lot of stuff from. So I still could see why she would need a shipping container. I don't know if she's, I don't know what she's doing. I don't know if she's making them products or not. But what I do know is there's always gaps in her process. That's the part that without fail, it always happens. Flower Bloom said, who is her accountant? <laughs> is it Stormy herself? Flower Bloom, do you think that uh, one of the people that she tried to blame last season forced her signature on this one too? On this container company? Because you know, that's what she said. Somebody was forging her signature out there. Um, yes, April, she brought it up. It's, it's okay. Like that's not a bad word. Um, our, I mean, so many things are private label, like best, what is it? Great value for Walmart is a private label. Um, what's Kroger's that they always use? Private select. That's a private label. It's cool. There's nothing wrong with it. And then white labeling, of course, is, is pre-made and then you just add your own branding to it. That's normal. It's the fact that she tried to shame someone that actually wasn't even doing it, but she tried to shame them if they had have been doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> Scheming is scamming. <laughs> if you just came in, I'll just tell you the um the amount again. If you didn't hear it, it was $18,260.40 right now plus court costs of $322 so far. So her pattern has been, um, oh, I, you know what? I left it up last time. Do I still have it to show some of her other court cases? Hold on. Here we go. So here's page one of two. Um, some of her things have been default judgment. There's been a secret settlement with American Express. She got the lien put on her house from Apex. Um, she was ordered to pay Old Dominion. Um, I think she settled. Um, that was the one after the... What, which one was this? Was this the party in the plantation? Yeah, this was the one after the party in the plantation. Um, 
page two of two, we have her property was seized, but it was returned because they because she settled it after the default judgment had been rendered. Um, let's see. I gotta check on one of these. I might have to just update it too. She got a default judgment against her from UPS supply chain, you know, all the things. So it's either gonna be a default judgment. Um, she might settle it now. I don't know why she has to be taken to court though in the first place. That's one of my things that is so confusing to me. Yes, Erica, that's where I'm at. Just dang. Um, without me, cause see, I don't, I don't know that man's like official, official title. I know what he claims. I know his COO and all that. I don't know when it's broken down to ownership if it's 100% owned by Stormy or not. So I won't say anything because I don't know. Y'all know me. If I, I like to just see it on paper so we could talk about what it is or what it isn't. So I don't know, honestly. I don't I don't, I don't know if it's 100% black owned or not. Um, he might hold a high position, but it's still black owned or he might own part of the company. I feel like the risk that he'd be taking on, if honestly, y'all, I don't even know for sure. I don't know for sure Kyle's role in the sense of like, because Stormy apparently, you know, through this pattern, isn't the best at paying people. I don't know. Like what, like for real, for real, like, is he just a, 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 a mouthpiece or does he have the actual role and he took on the risk because he would go ahead and have partial ownership of the company? Like what's really going on? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yes. Marcy said to make that statement about white labeling suggests that she lacks knowledge about product development. Yeah. I, Cause it's not a shame thing. She made it weird. And so we had to start, you know, it just looked weird that her stuff that her stuff looks like his white label. Like that's weird. Um uh, Erica said is he the mole for the people she owe money to? Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that's one of the things. I just don't want it to, as much as I am like, you know. I don't care for Stormy. I still won't isolate a certain thing. And so although, yes, shipping containers are used by out-of-country deliveries, they're also, I know what you're talking about too, those huge shipping containers. I, I get you on that. But I just, they, I don't want to limit it just in case that's not the only thing. That's what I'm saying. I definitely understand that it's also used for out-of-country stuff though. 20,000, a rich scanner can't pay. At this point, she needs to rent a long-term stay at the country the county courthouse. Y'all, this is why I said, I wonder, um, I wonder, is that warehouse going to sue her for rent later on? Like a few months down the line after that deposit runs out. And then like, this is me making up a whole scenario right now. I don't have no, but I'm just saying like, you know, like if she pulls a Peter Thomas or something <laughs> and then she just stops paying or pulls a destiny and stops paying and says they stopped paying because uh, they needed repairs in the building and the, the people didn't repair it, but they also didn't put the rent in escrow. You know what I mean? You know how they do. You know how, you know how they do. I'm just like, are we going to, are you going to get sued by that doggone warehouse in a few months? <laughs> oh my gosh. 404 says she thought she was bigger than everyone. Karma said, hold up. Let me show you something. Yep. The Bama girl said, wow, another case. Does she pay anybody? Bama girl. <laughs> Somebody out there might might be getting paid. They might be. Um, okay, Indigo Girl said in the video she has been showing about her warehouse, those workers are not well attired to suit the work environment. They look like they walked in off the street. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes, Lil Paulette. I actually do think this is worse. I actually do. Lil Paulette said, do y'all think this is, quote, worser than she by pays no one? I actually do. And it's hard. It's like, you ain't even got that many years on you like, like Sheree. But I do think this is worse. The number of losses is ridiculous. Oh, that's it too, Crystal. Thank you. Yes. Crystal said, watch Kyle will be suing her soon for not paying him. Crystal, when I tell you, that's that's something I'll wait to see coming because I kind of had that feeling. Shan said yes too. Yep. She repeats the same pattern over and over again. Yep. We calling it. Uh, April 5th, 2024, possibly there's going to be a warehouse suing her for the non-payment of rent or something. And then Kyle going to be suing that girl. <laughs> Kyle's going to sue Stormy. It might take a while. We got to give it like, 
between what would you think about six to 13 months but i don't know i feel like kyle gonna be back here saying my bad guys <laughs> and then he gonna be telling us everything well let me show you this here's the receipts let me show you where i demanded she pay and she stopped paying and she made excuses watch kyle gonna come back with a whole different attitude <laughs> Yes, Erica, she need to get it together and stop studying on the ground. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Just, just come with what's really happening and it just makes this big difference. Like how even when we went to the black tie affair and we were complimenting each other on our clothes and everything. Now, yes, some I'm sure had designer, but everybody was dressed to the nines and the ones that necessarily either mixed and matched their designer, like the high low thing I heard I hear about. Or they, it was no designer, but it just looked wonderful on them. They were like, "Oh, girl!" Like, um, I think did a step. I think a step shared it, but yeah, a step was like, "Oh, this was Shein," you know. But a step looked like she stepped out of like a designer magazine, like you know what I mean, like a high fashion magazine. So like, there's no point to stunt because a compliment is still your compliment. You don't have to stunt. <laughs> you don't have to. How I See TV said, and shout out to the content creators, Lil Paulette in the game, How I See TV, I see you in here. No hair nets, no gloves, no masks. If they are working with chemicals, no aprons or overalls. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No, SG said in the words of Wanda is giving get so, oh my God. <laughs> yes, Erica, I agree. She needs to think about her son's future and get her business in order. Yes, yeah, she got to stop focusing on them comment sections and just, girl, do the actual business that actually matters. People are going to have opinions that come and go, get forgotten about. But your business, this black and white in this courthouse, this trail that you're leaving, that's the part that matters. <laughs> yes, irresponsible. Yeah, 404 said if she had any sense, she would have Kyle sign an NDA. Now, that's true, but an NDA does not... I don't think it's going to cover if the uh, the person that signed the NDA didn't get their half, their part of the NDA met. Maybe he can't come out and tell us, but people always find a way to get it to people. And even if he don't tell us, he got to tell the courthouse if he has a complaint against her. So it's still public record. <laughs> but yes, I could definitely see an NDA. But also with the way that she handles her affairs, do you think she took the time out to have a nice NDA for him? If he, in fact, is fulfilling the roles that that he's claiming? I don't think so because I wouldn't owe $18,000 and have a 600K worth of sales or 600K units sold on TikTok. I would not have an $18,000 debt. So I doubt that was done properly if if there's one. I, I just doubt it. I'm sorry. Right. Pamela said, y'all know the Mellow reasons. The Melometers is the reason she being. <laughs> right. Well, container and packaging, you about to be called a Melometer because you know that's what it is. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's saying. Okay. <laughs> Gigi said, trying to sue other folks because she need the money. I I advise her against it. She's going to lose more money just paying attorney's fees and everything. Drea said, and Stormy bragging about how her employees came straight from the club to work. Some in their rocking sunglasses, straight madness. Oh, wow. No, y'all said nope, nope. Oh, here you go. Here for IT said Kyle said lawsuits are normal. Yeah, we talked about that. And and I'm still gonna say let's let's drill it down. Debt lawsuits, I don't think should be normal for multi-million dollar businesses. Not debt lawsuits. You you can't convince me. And I know nobody's convinced that, but it's just weird that they keep saying that over and over and over and over. Like that's weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. ADR says, strange bird, I am so over her. Stop screaming support black businesses when the owner doesn't seem to support black customers by sending them their ish they pay for. Have a decent customer service. ADR, you have summed up my whole thought on that. I, You can't tell someone to not criticize your black business when that black business is not fulfilling obligations to their black customers and also, people have the right to give their opinion because that's why it's called product reviews. That's why there are influencers because people crave the opinions or someone to try it out before they get it and all these other things. Like, that is very normal for someone to review it and everybody. I mean, go to Amazon. 
there are products with three and a half stars, one stars. Like it happens. If your product is not that great and then the numbers show up to say, hey, this one wasn't that great for me, then there's your rating and it is what it is. Right. We are not accepting blame. <laughs> right, Lil Paulette. Oh, 404, I'm done with you. Mama V said, not that many lawsuits. Yes, Marcy, you must pay your suppliers. You got to pay everybody. And here's my thing. This is this is the crux. This is the thing, y'all. It's not that someone in a, a business is struggling to pay a company. It's someone in a business that tells people they don't have enough to come for them, that um, F it, I'm rich. What else did they say? All these things, and they're not paying their bills. That's what gets me. Because businesses are going to struggle. That's not, it's not that the business is struggling. It's the stunning of it all and, and the weirdness. Like, why do you do that? Loud and wrong on the regular, yes. Here for IT said, I quite literally don't know how much money she thinks she would make off me. But I agree. Lawsuit for million, multi-million dollar businesses are for people trying to get a come up, typically. Not money owed. Exactly. Exactly. And if y'all didn't go watch Here for Hot Tea Breakdown, y'all probably did. Because when I got, by the time I got over there, that video was at 13,000 views. But in case you didn't watch it, you have to watch her video with uh, what, that dissertation that Kyle wrote. And, and she was responding to some pieces of it. Um, it's very... Um, I'm almost gonna say timely and it's relevant and it stays on task. <laughs> um, and then for people that personally don't care for Stormy, uh, first of all, her personality is turning people off that's not watching the show, so it's not us again, but also for the ones that do watch the show or see her offline antics, um, she 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 is you know she's she's siding with the AB user and people don't like it and they're still gonna have their criticisms. People can criticize you. They can. Um, and then, and that's fine. And they'll keep getting um, whatever they're getting from her. That's fine. That's fine. That's that's them. We're trying to get... <laughs> Look, that's on them. I'll just say that everybody has a choice. They all have a choice. Um, uh, ADR said is what Tisha and her girls did. I'm going to just say Tisha. I'm going to leave the little, the little ones out of it. It's what Tisha did, white labeling or snatch and grab slash copy and paste. <laughs> Tisha might have a mixture. She, he, he, Tisha probably has a mixture. Let me see. Yes, April, lawsuits for non-payment of services, but throwing around, you're a millionaire. Exactly. She contextualized and said, I'm not even convinced that the post was Kyle. I still think Kyle was a paid actor. <laughs> Stormy wrote that myth. <laughs> For those that were here, we were we had a different thing on Stormy. We were in a live doing something else, probably another lawsuit on Stormy, or we were just reviewing the Love and Marriage Hun Huntsville episode. Kyle, well, that Kyle account came into the chat, and he was, you know, he wasn't he wasn't on anything too crazy, but it was just weird for that account to be in there in in my live. And then from a Kyle account, I had gotten a DM within the like the day, the same day or a couple days after. I didn't answer it because I'm like, I can do nothing for you. And I definitely know I should not expect you to be able to do anything for me. And I did not answer it, but I did have a Kyle account uh, DM me as well. <laughs> um, welcome back to the Trendy Tribe, Miss Denise. Hold on. Let me see. Got to get you to bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Hold on. I got to find it. Where is it at? Here we go. Oh, bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> Starting from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay. So we still have Charnita's World, episode five, in about an hour. So I'm going to leave it here. That's all I have. I will do a quick recap just so you know, in case you just strolled in. On March 11th, 2024, a complaint was opened against Stormy from the company named Container and pa Packaging Supply, Inc., for a debt owed of $18,260.40. And I think it's plus 6% 6 interest. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. And they have the, uh, they sent off a request for service through the sheriff's office. So that's where it stopped. So we haven't seen if the service worked or um, if, it, if she's been served. We have not seen that yet. So that's what we'll keep our eye on. So, <laughs> uh 
And it's just crazy timing because Again, if you've been seeing in the last 24 hours of stuff with Kyle, it's just crazy timing. But if Stormy ain't going to do nothing else, Stormy going to get sued, apparently. So we'll be building our bingo cards, our Love Marriage Huntsville bingo cards by next weekend. <laughs> I can't wait to see what y'all suggest to put in those spaces. So come back for that. <laughs> um, keep your notifications on because it's just going to be when we have time and everything. So keep your notifications on. But I appreciate y'all taking your time out to come see what's going on. And I will see y'all back out in these YouTube streets pretty soon. <laughs> All right. Um, let me pop the trunk one more time. Cause y'all might've been uh, sending cash apps or doing something that I'm just gonna pop the trunk because I do appreciate y'all. We going. All right. We going. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. I've been taking my time. I've been taking my time. Taking all your time, taking all your time